guys, back again. Right, so we'll get cracking with this one now. The Bunny Dream Dwarf Expert Mix. And there's a cute little dwarf. <laughs> there's the booklet. You know what I was saying? The booklet attached to the other one. Well, this one attached to this as well, so we'll have a look. I think this one's the one that's got turkey meal in. Or it might be the basic one, actually. But one of the bunny dreams have turkey meal in. I thought it was the other one I just showed you, the serian, but it wasn't on the ingredients. So there you go. <laughs> right, so I'll, I'll get cracking, get up that opened, and uh, yeah. Right, guys. Now, again, I am totally impressed. It's very similar, <clears throat> very, very similar. So we'll go through the composition in a minute and the ingredients. As usual, the composition will be in the description in case you need to re uh, refer to it. So I'll just put a tiny smidgen into his bowl. This is his little treat bowl. <laughs> but I'm just putting it in here for now. He's got his normal food in his normal bowl. But there you go. Yes, so, um, and they're really nice small bites as well, so it should help him with his, uh, be gentle on his, on his mouth and his teeth and, um, won't be too much for him to find with his neurological problem. Now let's have a smell. Oh, it smells lovely. It really does. Just put this, let me see if there's a parsley, a parsnip in there. Oh, yes, he's got a parsnip in there, so I don't need to get one out. But he seems to be uh, mad on carrots for some reason. So I'll just put a little strip of carrot in there. So we'll see what he's going to like with this. And uh, again, I, I'm just, no wonder people are giving this good reviews. Honestly, honestly, guys, I know it's only my opinion, but. I really, 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 even if you only get it the once and then you don't like it or you absolutely don't like it, at least you've tried it. But I really, really do recommend this. Um, who needs Burgess? I mean, just look at this. I mean, when you think of it, the Burgess Dwarf Mix was good, but it was just mainly just millet or you had those big brown blocks in, those little sticks. and and um, But look at this. Just look. All different things in it. So we'll go through the composition. <clears throat> so I'll be back at it while I just get all the booklet out. Right, guys. I mean, has anyone ever, ever, um, you know, any other company ever gone out of the way to give you a cute little booklet as well? It's just absolutely. Bunny Dream, you're, you're remarkable. I don't usually, um, like, give raving, raving, raving reviews. I usually, uh, you know, I'm dead honest. And if they're bad, they're bad. If they're good, they're good. But this is really, really... Oh, I can't speak highly enough. Right, so let's see. Protein, 15%. There you go, I should have done this with the last one. You can see this now, guys, can't you? Fats, 6.5%. Fibre, 7%. So again, really good, not too bad. But if you mix it with other stuff or another mix, you'll be perfectly fine. Right, now let's see what ingredients we've got. Again, millet, canary seed, pea flakes, quinoa seeds, barley, mung beans. Did I say that right? Mung beans. <laughs> uh, what's that one? What's that one there? I can't pronounce that word. Probably like some sort of puffed rice or something. Barley flakes, oat flakes, silver millet. Then it's got something called perilla, perilla seeds. Now, no, I've not heard of them before, but nevertheless. Red millet, carrots, linseeds, grass seeds, parsnips, dandelion leaves, lucerne, mealworms. And then, uh, what's that one? Yarrow. Rib what? <laughs> Whatever that is. <laughs> See, it's got unusual ingredients, which is what I like. 
uh, sesame. Then it's got like your normal mineral minerals there, calcium, stuff like that. Beetroot, marigold. Ah, that's what the other one must have been. Marigold blossoms. <laughs> Chamomile. Chamomile blossoms. Rose blossoms. Samolina brown. And uh, white millet. Yes, so it must be the basic one with turkey meal. So when I get the basic one next, I'll do a review on that one. So this is what it comes like. Here's the booklet. It comes with different languages. So um, if English isn't your first language, you'll, you'll find one in here that'll suit. So now we'll just quickly go back to this food. Like I said, composition will be in the description. And uh, yeah. Look at the size of those um, parsnips. I might have to break that into little bits for him because I don't think he'll manage that. Now, them, they mustn't be peas, them green things, after all. Are they, are they mung beans? Does anyone know if they're mung? I think they're mung beans. Because cause cause they've already got peas in there, you see, pea flakes. Yeah, so it is a, it is a bit different, uh, the dwarf one, because it's got, like, flowers in it as well. Even though the other one, the Syrian, had a few flowers in it, it didn't have rose, um, it only had rose hips, but this one's got rose blossoms and stuff like that. So just, uh, and this will last you ages. It's got good life day on it, it's got till 2020 on the bag I've got. So, yes, and that's his little portion there. So that'll keep him going to keep him digging. And, uh, yeah, so with, with Burgess, I don't know why they've done what they've done, but they're trying to take away the natural instincts out of the hamster room because hamsters need to forage. They really do. And I've not known any hamster on a muesli mix who's uh, died through malnutrition. So why they're saying, oh, it causes obesity, obesity and all that is, uh, I don't know, because they like the variety. So... But anyway, we'll forget them now. It's all done and dusted with them. I'll sort this out in a minute. Yeah, guys. So there we go. Bunny dream again. Thumbs up. And I'm going to get the basic one next time. And we'll see what that one's like with the turkey meal in it. Uh, yes. So I think I've covered everything on that bit. And especially uh, if you're watching this bunny dream, keep up the good work because the booklet is so beautiful. I mean, it's just, it's like you really put thought into it. And uh, for people, instead of trying to get it all on, squeezing it into tiny writing on one bag, you just put it in a booklet for people to refer to. And and then it's not going to cause any waste in landfills because you, you can just shred it after you finish with it. And it's just... I'm glad to Mrs. Um, to Mrs. Scriber again who um, recommended su her soup plus. Thank you very much because I would not have known about this food because um, I checked it out on Amazon after I ordered it off soup plus just to see if I missed it on Amazon and Amazon don't even have it. So thanks again because I would not have known about um, this food if I did if I didn't go on soup plus. So um, yeah, and it I benefited benefited you lot guys as well because. Now you see another new food, and you've got you, you've seen what it's like. I just love doing these food reviews. The reason I love it is because you get up. I, get, I like to get up, up close and personal with the food. I like to film right close to it, so you can see every bit of grain, and uh, I like to go into detail and what it's like. And instead of just putting it in a pot and saying, "There you go," yeah, it's a, I like to go into it, tell you what what it is, what it smells like. What I think of it personally, what I think the company's presentation's like, everything. So then you guys get a full, honest opinion. And then it's entirely up to you then, guys, if you think, oh, well, I'll go for that. Oh, no, I won't go for that. And uh, it's just bringing something new to you guys, that's all. And that's what I'm all about. So, yeah. So I'm hoping uh, I'll give you some answers that you were looking for, especially when... Um, Regarding dwarves, because I know most of you are quite upset as well, a bit about um, having to rush out and try and find um, have the idea, have, well, 
have the headache of finding new food for your dwarf and so yeah it's just uh i think it just it's grand and the smell is really nice you can just really smell it's just really nice and subtle so yeah thumbs up again bunny dream keep it up keep it up and i'm getting to know what uh, i think this is danish um because I'm getting to know that word there. That means dwarf, doesn't it? Because <laughs> it's the same on this, um, the JR farm. Because I know the difference. That's for your Syrians. And that's for your dwarf. <laughs> right, guys. So I'm going to uh, love you and leave you now. And um, So this is what you get. You get a... Uh, what size bag is this? It's but they both five. I forgot to tell you in the other bag, but it'll be in the description again. They both five hundred gram bags, the Syrian one and the draw. And uh, you get obviously the five hundred gram a mix, and you get a lovely, nice presentation booklet which just eases off the back of the bag, and you get the nice, lovely presentation bag. So there you go. So guys, catch you later.